Hello and welcome to Footnotes. I'm recapping the most ravishing ideas from around Wired. Today we're talking about the greatest dinosaur rivalry since a stegosaurus told a velociraptor that her nails looked like <laughs> Underwire reported on the announcement of a new movie about the bitter feud between real-life paleontologist Othniel Marsh, played by James Gandolfini, and the hilariously named Edward Drinker Cope, played by Steve Carell. It's a funny name. What the f*** were his parents thinking? It's a retelling of the famed Bone Wars of the late 1800s in which Marsh and Cope scoured the American West in search of dino fossils, sabotaging each other's expeditions and telling each other that their nails looked like <laughs> This was all happening at a very exciting time for science. Charles Darwin had just published On the Origin of Species in 1859, and indeed once wrote to Marsh thanking him for the evidence his fossils lent to the theory of evolution and to invite him to his birthday party, which was going to have a ton of soda and a pretty sweet bounce house. Along with Darwin, Marsh and Cope were among the last of the so-called gentleman scientists who funded their own expeditions and were really good at opening doors for lady dinosaurs. But these two weren't exactly gentlemen. For three decades, they nearly drove each other to insanity with constant bickering over dig sites and the right to name certain species, such as the Edward Cope is a Jerkadon and the I'd rather be stuck in an actual marsh than spend 10 minutes with Othniel Marshosaurus. Cope and Marsh fought across much of the 19th century American West, which was one of the best regions in the world for hunting fossils, but not so great if you were a dinosaur playing hide and seek. The duo's success here was due in large part to the lack of vegetation and the hilly terrain that at one point had bones poking out of cliff faces, as if to say, I'm uncomfortable, dig me out of here, only it'd be in whatever language dinosaurs spoke. The rivals had actually once been besties, but that all changed when Marsh visited one of Cope's early dig sites in New Jersey and bribed all the workers to send all of the fossils to his lab instead. Then he went to the shore to get a tan and a venereal disease. So they went to war for three decades, employing spies and obstructing digs while taking every opportunity to publicly badmouth one another. Marsh took particular advantage of Cope mistakenly placing the head at the wrong end of a plesiosaur reconstruction which Marsh for some reason didn't think to call ass backwards. Each man eventually ruined the other's career, in the process burning through their massive fortunes, which means they may have well just constructed skeletons with middle fingers turned toward the poor. But thanks to Marsh and Cope, today we know which end the T-Rex's head goes on, which makes Jurassic Park way less terrifying than it could have been.